Hi there, I'm Iman Ubu, the co-founder of Vocable.ai, and today I want to share how I plan and create my monthly content in just one sitting using Vocable. And it only takes a few minutes to plan ahead and create all the content you need for the month so you never have to deal with any scrambling for last minute posts. So let me show you how I do it. The first thing is you come into your dashboard. I'm assuming you're a new user, so the platform and the dashboard look empty. The first step would be to generate your full content plan here. So it'll ask for your website. Website. Now, if you don't have a website, you can uh, click on don't have a website and add that brand information manually. Now for this example, let's use our website since I'm showing you how I use Vocable to create our own content for Vocable. Now make sure that you add HTTPS before the website, otherwise it'll say invalid website. So save and continue. So now as you can see, the AI scans through all my website information and it pulls together a brand analysis. So what this means is it captures my brand's voice, key messaging, audience, industry keywords. And once the analysis is done, as you could see here, you can tweak any detail. So you can adjust any section as you see fit. And I highly, highly recommend you do so because the AI is going to be trained on this brand analysis. So the more accurate it is, the better your content. So now click save and continue. And the next step is it provides AI generated content topics based on the brand and analysis that it went through. So you can always, of course, add more to it, or you can edit each of these content topics. You can delete a few if you don't want um, some of this topic. So again, this is probably where you want to get the most involved so that every content that is going to be generated based on your brand analysis is accurate as possible. So I'm happy with my content topics and now I'm going to move forward. And so for our case, we mostly publish LinkedIn posts, uh, medium articles and blog posts, right? So we were very much invested in the long form written content, but of course you can come up with Instagram posts, Twitter threads, YouTube scripts, whatever you typically post, you can also choose from here. And by the way, we will be adding a lot more content types here soon. So keep that in mind. So once you pick your content type, then you click on generate plan. And there you go. So now with just one click, Vocable generated a full content plan with batches of posts in one sitting. So I can add more content, again, depending on the frequency and the cadence that you post on a monthly basis, or just depends on how many batches of content you want to create for the next month. I'm going to go ahead and add more because I need more for our content calendar since we post pretty frequently on our blog and on our LinkedIn now moving forward. So as you could see, it's still generating more ideas, but just to give you an idea of what a brief looks like. So every idea comes in the form of a brief, which has a little bit more details and information about the content idea that it provided you with. So think of this as a prompt, as a very sophisticated prompt that has a lot more information and description about the kind of content that you want to create. So if you want to make any edits, you can do so within each brief. And then the AI takes what the brief has and transforms that into a content post. Let's say I have enough content to go with. Now I'm going to click view content and boom now with just a click i have a full content plan ready to go with a lot of ideas to work with and now i can go through and adjust the deadlines based on again our own frequency of posting and i can then start drafting Okay, so after the plan is in place, as you could see here, we have all the LinkedIn posts, all the blog posts, and all the Medium articles. Um, as you could see, none of them have been started yet. So once the plan is in place, I like to just go down the list and start creating drafts after I review all of the briefs uh, and make any edits to the briefs. Because again, remember that the content output is based on the brief. So if you want to make any changes to the content idea, for example, you want to change the title or the description or the structure of the content piece, then you come into the brief and then you do so here. Once that's done, then you go ahead and click create draft and then it starts creating the content right in front of you. 
And what I appreciate about content output on Vocable is that it's very thorough and comprehensive. It's very meaty and in-depth as opposed to other AI tools that I have personally used before. So once the content has been created, then it drops you into the entry editor. And this is where you make any edits or add your own personal touch to it and add some flair. So if I do think that a piece needs a little bit more flair, and again, I always recommend that every piece of content whether it's on Vocable or any other AI tool, has to go through a human touch point and a human review and editing process before it gets published. So you're able to do so here in the entry editor without leaving the platform. You have access to AI assistance. This is a prompt box that allows you to prompt to add more content to your piece. And you're also able to prompt different AI models without leaving the platform. This is huge for me because I like to sometimes use Claude for certain pieces of content. I like to use ChatGPT for more, more short uh, pieces of content. So the fact that I'm able to prompt directly on the platform and have access to these AI models is huge game changer. I'm also able to just highlight a section and we have access to shortcuts here that are able to change your content accordingly. So this is basically your editing playground where you get to do all kinds of edits before you then hit the publish button, which is accessible here from the entry editor and allows you to uh, publish to your CMS, to your LinkedIn, to your X, and soon enough to your Facebook as well. So now with all my content ready to go, I like to switch to the calendar view to see everything laid out. I can drag and drop posts to different dates to make sure that I have a balanced, you know, content calendar in place. So this is very helpful to visualize all of my entire content in one place and also make sure that I have everything planned ahead of time so that all I'm able to do then is just come in here, open my draft and then hit publish when I'm ready to go. So there you have it. This is how you create a full content plan with ready to go pieces and posts um, for the entire month in just one sitting using Bookable. Thank you for watching.